This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Adding animations. This program draws four sprites on the screen. <gasps> Ooh, one has a picture. And one of them, ha oh yeah, has an animation from the animation tab. Do this. Run the code to see what happens. Check. Look in the animation tab, which is way up here, to see where the animations are available to you. Show me where. Oh, look, it does. It shows you. Huh. They're stealing my job. It's up here. Uh, feel free to alter your animation or choose a new one. Heck yeah. Use set animation command to change the look of other sprites. All right. So let's see. Animate. Oh, oh, they already added some. Yeah, I want a different one. I'm going to hit plus. And I definitely want the cow. Cow, 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 cow. And I think I also want... Uh, they have a weird alien thing somewhere. I want it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so red alien and cow. All right, I got mine. I'm heading back here. Now, this is important. Notice, bottom right sprite set animation. So where did they get that name? Oh, look at the variable's name. Oh, that's how they're doing it. You cannot set the animation above. So let's do this sprite. Top left sprite. Okay, so let me type that in. And now let me pick the animation. I can just click the drop down and I want, no, cow for sure. Boom. Okay, so it's it's a bit large, but you know, you get the idea. Can I shrink them down in here? Crop? No. All right, we'll leave them. We're going to learn how to shrink stuff later. All right, so there we are. Now, what doesn't work? If I pull this up and now I hit reset run, error. Set animation of undefined. What that means is it says top left sprite. What in the world? Computers run code in order. You have not made it. I have not made a top left sprite. I make it on line two. On line two, I say, okay, create top left sprite and position it at 100, 200. So I'm trying to set the picture for it before it exists. Now I drag it down. I create top left sprite and I create that space at 100, 200. It's this gray square thing. But then I tell the computer right away, nope, it's going to be this picture. And then when we draw it, it knows what to draw. So now let's do the rest of them real quick. Just make sure you do it beneath them after the variable exists. And I'm going to use control C and control V because we just need it to match. Control C, control V. Uh, find a flying bot. How big is my red alien? <laughs> I love it. So always make sure you have your variable before your, well, your variable before your set animation. Let's keep going.